It is January 22nd and we are here in Maine and it is cold, negative 15 degrees this morning, about 2 degrees now and it's midday, um, but we're just looking forward to that in a couple months, be back chasing turkeys and weather a little bit warmer than this. This hunt is from last spring though, this is my second turkey of the Maine season, shot it with my shotgun, I'd already shot my first one with my bow and just trying to fill that second tag so I hopefully get down to New Hampshire and fill that second tag as well. Um, but without further ado, let's get to it. Gonna lay by the river, gonna rest my eyes. Cause I know this time tomorrow, there ain't gonna be blue skies. I walk a lonely mile, so many years I run. I'm sinking slowly, so low, Lord, won't you take me? We got him, baby! So with this hunt, I had really no game plan the night before. It was a Friday. It was Friday night, and I got home late from work. And I just I knew I was going hunting, but I didn't know I didn't have a setup 100% for sure that I was going to. So using Onyx, I had plenty of pins around where I knew there was birds and birds gonna be. So at first light, I just was gonna run around and out hoop try to get a turkey to respond. So I got to the first spot and got a chuck and let out one owl hoot and bam, gobble right back. And from the sounds of it, he was off the field a little ways, which was perfect because I knew I was going to go right up the middle of the field to a clump of trees that were just sitting out in the middle of the field. Um, so I had a pretty good feeling I wasn't going to be seen and it was just the risk I was willing to take. So once I got up to the, the clump of trees out in the middle of the field, I got set up real quick and it was buggy. I mean, the mosquitoes were all over me. Checked my thermosel, no more juice in it. So I got all settled in and this turkey was just gobbling on the limb and so I just wanted to make sure he knew I was there so I just gave some light, light clucks um, and right after that the hen spoke up. And at first I was kind of thinking that man, could that just be another hunter being super aggressive early in the morning while they're still on the limb? Because it sounded like, I mean she was cutting hard and if you listen closely you'll hear just cutting, cutting, cutting and yelping and while they were still on the limb so I knew if she flew down wherever she flew he was gonna go because whenever he she cut he gobbled so I focused my attention on her and just started calling nonstop. you know as soon as she'd call I'd call either cut her off or I'd mimic what she said and and that worked out perfect I mean she she you'll see you'll see is she flies down out of the tree, and you just see the black spot come across the screen in the video. And I was, at first I thought it was the gobbler coming down, and, but it was her, and she flew right in front of the decoy. So when that hen flew down out of that tree and she landed, I just stopped calling. I didn't want 
I didn't want to give away who I was and have her spook and have her head back towards the the gobbler and, and ruin any chance of me getting this thing killed. So I let her just walk around behind me and then I started calling again. And she got a little spook, putted a little bit, but she went to the other side of the field behind me. Then I heard the gobbler come out of the tree and he landed short in the woods off the edge of the field. So I had myself between the gobbler and the hen that he was roosted with. So as, as she was behind me still putting a little bit and making a little bit of noise, I just kept calling. And I don't know if he just thought I was her calling because when he came out of those woods, he just was kept hammering, 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 but he was looking right at her across the edge of the field. So as you can see in the video, he's not coming to me. He's coming to the, the hen behind me. The hen that flew down the tree and then went behind me. And he was focused right on her and he was heading on a beeline. And luckily, I kept myself between them two. And when he was headed towards her, just past where I was set up, it gave me a good 30, 40 yard shot. And, uh, and unfortunately, I was panning with the camera, panning with the camera. And I didn't have the, uh, I had the setting too tight on the camera. And when I let go, that camera snapped back to where it was and uh, missed the shot, but. So that was definitely a good bird to end the season on. 
three year old bird, inch and a quarter spurs, nine and a quarter inch beard. Um, but we can't wait to get after him this year. Definitely going to hit another out of state hunt this year. Um, looking at New York, so stay tuned and and see what we can get at get into this spring. Thanks for watching.